Once upon a time, there was a Zen student who quoted an old Buddhist poem to his teacher, which says, The voices of torrents are from one great tongue. The lions of the hills are the pure body of mind. As is work that right, he said to the teacher, 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 he said to the like I said, um, if you want something big and bold, something juicy and smooth, full of fruit and oak, um, go with that one. But if you want something more complex, something more refined, finer tannins, go with that one. Let's go for complex. So you're sure this is really a good one? Without a doubt. If you don't like it, bring it back. I'll drink her myself. <laughs> well, all righty then. Hey, how you doing? Red wine. I do not like fruity wines. I do not like French. I do not like German. Great. I've been in here before. Some other guy helped me. Where's he? Uh, he's not here right now. Uh, what do you have? Let's try Italian. People will like this. It's magic. It's in a perfect place. You got a good guy price? What? A good guy price. No, sorry. No discounts on single bottles. Boss's orders. Can't you close early? I don't own the place. Mm, that's a shame. I don't want the heat. What do you want? Five million dollars. And a 20 vintage vertical code roti from Roger. Let's take a bath in it. Standing in an empty room. And the walls are closing in. What will you do with all of that money and all of that wine? <laughs> Simple, stupid. Spend the money, drink the wine. Drink with who? 
all the very important people that come knocking on my door. <laughs> and then what? After your face is on a billboard and you've been drunk with strangers. Read the benefits. Party every weekend at your lakefront chateau. You buy a brand new Tesla. Trade you in for a stellar vintage to Kim. Never have to work another day of retail in my life. If you can't be with the small moments, you'll never even get a chance to touch the big ones. So I should have given that guy a better bottle of wine. You should have. Oh, hey, what's up, man? Look, I need something really special. It's an anniversary gift. It's a late anniversary gift. Seven years, the drop of gold, the spiritual home of Chenin Blanc, and it reaches its full potential at the Coulee de Sarol. 400 million years ago, an ocean separated two large land masses, the northern and the southern parts of France. One day, the tectonic plates of the Earth's crust, they reversed direction and they started to drive back toward each other. The soil here was cooked under the Earth's crust for eons and then brought back up, along with lava rock and pure quartz and these multicolored pebbles that make these vineyards look like open-air candy stores. Okay, all of this makes for a wine of tremendous richness and concentration. Somehow there's a, a tension between lush and lean, and honeysuckle and river stones. Somehow youthful and mature. When you open a bottle of Sauvignon's, you are releasing the memory of a prehistoric collision that gave birth to the land of France. Imagine a landscape of dry, scrubby, crinkly hills, something out of like, the surreal world of Dr. Seuss. Nestled in these hills are these tiny little towns where the tentacles of the modern world have barely reached. This is Priorat in northern Spain. It has these crazy slopes of 80 degrees where they use a single donkey to harvest these grapes. Grapes born from 100-year-old cargo and bush vines that look like the gnarled knuckles of an old mechanic. Now when I taste this, I, I can only speak of emotions. I can't parse out the individual sensations of mineral and earth, or fruit and animal. Valach is the microcosm of a fairy tale landscape and the tradition of people who call it home. I'm actually really excited. Me too. I live vicariously through your drinking. Thank you. Thank you.